Hey everybody. Uh, I know a lot of you have seen by now my video where the Tenopoma there took a shot at one of my Otis Sinkless. And I've gotten a lot of comments about getting the Otis out of the tank, and that's uh, certainly understandable. Um, the reason I'm not, I'm not doing it with callous disregard. If you've been with me for a long time, and I know some of you have, uh, you will remember back when this fish was in my African tank, and it was about half the size he is now, uh, I had some cherry barbs in there. I bought this fish under the understanding that it would be a very slow grower, and I was hoping that the cherry barbs might even have died of old age after a couple years before he was big enough to be uh, harmful. I soon learned otherwise, and I had issues with the cherry barbs getting attacked and eaten. So I did remove them from the tank because he was clearly going after them, and they weren't going to survive for very long at all. Now, the Otis Sinkless, I have never worried about. I've never worried about them when I've put them in with the uh, Dwarf Malabar Puffers. They just always get left alone. And I have always just gone under the assumption that they are uh, in the class of catfish that are armored catfish. The Cynodontus here, for example, is one of the armored catfish. And if anybody has ever caught a catfish and gotten stuck by one of their spines on either their dorsal or their pectoral fins, and you can clearly see right there, that, that leading uh, ray is a spike. And that is a poison spike. So if you're ever wondering why your hand hurts so damn bad after you got stuck by a catfish, that's why. You got poisoned by it. So I just always went under the assumption that the Odos were the same way, because I can't imagine wanting to put something like that in your mouth. And judging by the reaction of the Tenopoma, it didn't look like he could either. I mean, he spit that thing out like it was on fire. So I was going to shoot some video, and I was going to mention that, and, you know, mention that they were armored catfish. But I'm learning slowly but surely to not just say things before I check them when I, you know, thought about it for a moment. And I realized, like, I don't know that they're armored catfish. I think they're armored catfish, and I've always assumed they were. But let's double check before I go shooting my mouth off. And sure enough... Everything I could find indicates that they have no defenses whatsoever. They're not armored. Um, they talk about a few species. The uh, peppered odos in particular I read about actually mimics the peppered cories and swims and schools with the cories, uh, you know, assuming, of course, that they're, you know, seeking protection in the numbers because the cories are armored and not very many other fish like to eat the quarries because nobody wants to eat these armored catfish. So I am now baffled once again. I'm always baffled in this hobby. That's why I love it. Um, I, I looked at my Odos, and you can see clear as a bell. They do not have the um, spiny leading rays on either the dorsal or the pectoral fin, so they're, they're not, you know, spiky like that. And you can also clearly see there's a perfect example. Now tell me... I have something to worry about with this fish going after these Odos. He absolutely ignores them. Uh, never ever has bothered them at all. And if you look very closely in the video where he strikes at it, the Odo is on the back side of this leaf or on the front side of this leaf and then he comes up and hits it from the back side. So I'm 100% convinced that he did not know he was hitting at an Odo. I think he saw the silhouette of a fish through the leaf. I think instincts took over, and I think he took a shot at it. Now, I'm not saying that that can't happen again, and that these Odos in here aren't necessarily at some kind of risk, um, but it's minimal, and I'm not really that worried about it. I'm not going to go out of my way to take the Odos out of this tank. In fact, I put them in here for a reason, because I like to have a little cleaning crew in here. Um, once again, we saw him just take a look at an Odo and just watch it swim past, showing no interest whatsoever. Uh, you saw how aggressively he struck that other Odo. So that gives you an idea of how effective of a Pisivore this fish is. Keeping that in mind, what would you give the life expectancy of those Odos if he really wanted to eat them? They wouldn't, they wouldn't finish, they wouldn't live the length of this video. Um, if I threw some guppies in there, if I threw some cherry barbs in there, they wouldn't survive minutes in this tank with that fish. And I've had Corys in here with him. I mean, I'm sorry, I've had the Odos with him. Uh, back in the African tank and now in this tank for over a year now. He's a little more than a year old So I guess it doesn't you know, you can't really count it when he was small But he's been around Odo's ever since when you know, and he just does not bother them He he just completely ignores them So the question is and the the point of this video is not to justify why I'm leaving them in this tank 
I want to know if anybody else has any thoughts on this. If these fish are supposedly defenseless, why do we see this kind of behavior? Why do we see these uh, fish, you know, that's very clearly a very aggressive and very effective piscivore, ignoring fish that would make a perfect snack-sized little morsel for them? And then on the one instance where we did see that type of behavior, it was clear that the fish couldn't easily see what it was striking, and then it was also very clear that the fish instantly spit the Odo out as though it was very distasteful or something. So if anybody's got any thoughts or opinion, or please, if there's anybody out there that has any actual scientific testing equipment and can actually, you know, examine some Odos and find out if there's any, you know, do a toxicology report on their slime coat or something, I would love to hear from you. Um, I don't know if they just taste bad. I don't know if they excrete something when they're being stressed. I don't know if I, maybe they scream and it upsets the fish. I don't know. I have no idea why Odos swim around just as bold as they do. Um, but they swim around as though they're just not on the menu. And they get treated literally as though they're not on the menu. Um, so I don't know. Just give me your thoughts. Love to hear from you. And I would love you to subscribe and watch all my videos. And I would also like you to thumbs up and like this video. So thanks for watching this one. Give me your thoughts again. I just really don't know what to make of that. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, so thanks again for watching. And I will see you on the next one.